Hi, Dion from Inflation Support Services here, and I wanted to give a chat about two topics that are related, and that is one, the silent treatment, and two, being a source of supply. How would these two be related? Have you ever been told that you're a cold person? And being told a cold person by someone who can be quite hurtful. Now, let's look at what coldness is because coldness you can be a cold person in a very malicious way and you can be a cold person when you're no longer there for them now coldness the opposite of coldness would be hotness or even warmness now what happens at the end of a stressful day a warm bath or a warm shower they might relax have a nice warm cup of milk or a uh, a hot chocolate they might get into a warm bed and watch a show things that you know are generally relaxing things that help with um, de-stressing the body things that help calm soothe uh, going to a nice warm beach and relaxing it, it's a way of almost regulating one's body's emotions when we also have what is the source of supply that can be seen as almost that source of warmthness, that form of self-serving. Similar with alcohol, it's like it's the alcohol that provides that momentary bliss, that, that escape from all worries, the stress at the end of the day. It self-soothes, it takes the edge off things. It's like even if we go to a party, for example, it's like, ah, oh, I need a drink, so it's like I can feel a little bit more comfortable. It's like the social anxiety isn't as stressful. And that source of supply can be exactly like that, a form of self-regulation for someone else's needs. Me being the life vest, in a way, for someone else in a stressful situation is not going to help them. It's kind of where they have the, or learn the ability or gain the ability to start to calm their own nervous system, start to calm who they are as a person. If they can start to do that, then the reaction that to strong emotions becomes less. They become more responsible. There's more time between they react and respond because then they start to regulate their own emotions. But if you start to become the regulatory for someone else's emotions, then you become that source of supply. You become that warm feeling, that warm blanket, that warm shower, those comforting words, that, that source of being a therapist, that source of being the person there to calm their needs what if they come home at the end of the day and start to lash out a bit the stress of their day the stress of their inability to actually regulate their own emotions because they're in a dysregulated state and you're there as that source of supply that might have had their own hard day or are not able or capable in that moment to be that to do the impossible to be the 24-hour therapist where you're emotionally exhausted you've got your own needs a therapist needs to clock off at the end of the day and attend to their family or attend to their own self-care because their own self-care is what keeps us here but if you start to do that where you're so exhausted or you just have boundaries where hey it's like i'm here for me there is a clock off time there is the last call drinks of the bartender where you're not there to detoxify someone else's emotions you start to be called a cold person because you're no longer providing that warmth but if you're not there for the person then you can be called cold you can be called uh, distant and you can also be said that you're giving them the silent treatment because you you weren't there for them in their needs. Now, what is the silent treatment on the other end of it? Because as I said, it can be used as um, a form of manipulation, but it can also be similar to when I, like how you see in the movies, the hand grenade goes off, boom, there's been something um, explosive happened and you're in shock. You're, you're bereft of your senses. The, these harmful words that were said to you from quite a caring person or a person that you thought to at least be caring and you don't know how to respond. You're, it's like, it, it's quite hurtful. You're like, you're stunned by this. 
and you might go for walks you might try and have that time of processing where it's like what the hell i i just got told this really bad thing this really thing this hurtful thing this cutting deep thing that's created this wound now and i need to i, I need to gather my senses it's like is this self is this salvageable is it, what what what's going on here and you've had that time where you just don't know how to engage because you're just basically disassociated you're disengaged from what is happening because it's like your sense of reality has been once again turned upside down and whilst you're trying to settle balance get in get that's that that level playing field again where both parties can engage the other person is now disengaged and now giving you the silent treatment as that form of manipulation and now that you've somewhat regained your senses you now feel guilty for something that you've never caused in the first place so you try to make amends and now you're claiming ownership for something that never was something that you never caused in the first place that you tried to fix in the first place but sometimes in the application of that fixing there is the application there is some truths that sometimes don't, don't go too well for the person two things can happen you take ownership the guilt the shame the blame or you might still try to re-engage and through that big argument once again that happens again more explosive words they may have just manipulated you in that to actually get their cathartic release of once again that warm feeling of like oh yes they finally got what they wanted in the first place even though you've tried to put up that boundary through this big long out drawn out process they've finally gotten what they wanted they've gotten their source of supply they've gotten their drink so it's a it's a mind twist it's like it's almost like a holding out of the other person where if they can hold out long enough they'll still get their their warm feeling of this person fix this problem for me this cathartic release and it's not a fix it's just a, a giving in so similar to like toxicity a bottle of poison is not harmful to anyone it's only harmful if you decide to partake in it and similar to our emotions our sense of boundaries our sense of worth we need to be able to draw that line between what is our emotional boundaries and what is someone else's emotional boundaries that separation of my identity to someone else's identity of what i'm responsible for and what someone else is responsible for and it's a learning experience for definitely a person that is able to look at those parts of their selves that don't feel too comfortable that, that don't feel too good because then we get a better sense of self we get a better sense of understanding of ourselves but that comes through time application and a process of healing and growing but if we can't actually um if we're drawn into that constantly then it's a case of where we're always going to be drained and you've also got to look at it where these people have set their own ground rules that we are somehow expected to play by it's like they've drawn up these crappy rules that you can never win by they'll, they'll always be the winner and you're expected to play in it and there's some times where it's like they're not the, the important people in the world <laughs> they may feel that they're the most important they may feel that they deserve and are entitled to your time and attention but they're not <laughs> quite 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 frankly they're not where, where if I decide to give my time and attention to a person it's because I've decided to if I decide not to then that's my decision and if a person wants to kick up a stink to get that attention once again to be drawn back into it to be lured back in then it's it's whether I want to partake in something and if it's always going to be a case of where like I I have to fix them and not them fix themselves then it's always going to be an outside awareness whether we feel the need because someone has set these ground rules for in an in an expectation for us to partake in it's whether i choose to partake in that poison and yes they can kick up all the stink they can make all these claims that they want but they can only self-regulate themselves they can only self-soothe themselves and if you present 
steps on how to actually get better and they're not willing to take those steps then you can't force someone into that and they can only do it when they're, that they're ready so yes definitely it's like if you've been caught, called a cold person because you're no longer that source of supply then it might be that you're starting to draw up your boundaries but there is also the opposite side to being a cold person there's been cold, there's been malicious, there's been hurtful, there's been that sort of a coldness. But there's also the coldness of just basically being in a shutdown response, being frozen, being disassociated, being stunned, being not sure how to respond. And that can very much seem like a silent treatment because in that silence, we're processing, <laughs> we're thinking. <laughs> it's like, how do I get out of this? So yeah, another way to look at it. So I would recommend probably looking up also um, the silent treatment in narcissism and uh, just looking into that. So I'm Dion from Evolution Sports Services and I'll catch you in the next one.